we as vegans understand right from wrong. And therefore, we as ethical vegans are not supposed to judge. On a, that is what I say. But we as ethical vegans also, we know one, only ones that stand up for the true victims of systematic oppression. I not say that there is not something as racism, but all forms of discrimination have its roots, and that is speciesism. And as ethical vegans, we must understand that we have to learn the intersectionals that the animals are the main focus. That we nothing will, and I repeat, nothing will have ever will abolish systematic oppression of women, of blacks, if we are not going to abolish speciesism. It's the first form of discrimination people are being told. Long before racism, long before heterosexism, long before misogyny, and classism, Long before it is all, we have learned to discriminate between other animals. We have learned that we have to be kind and nice to cats and dogs. That we have learned that we have not to be nice to uh, pigs and cows. We have, to le we have learned to use the word pig for a person we don't like. We have, to le we have learned that but we have to be kind to dogs and that dogs are men's best friends. But on the other moment, we have learned to discriminate against dogs by calling people a uh, woman spectacular to how we not like bitches when one bitch is an other word for a female dog. This slur is so common that people don't even realize that there are practice in, in forms of systematic oppression and yeah well, maybe think this is crazy words are completely without consequence but if you are a black person and you say that the word nigga is racist why is that then not a speciesist when you call someone a bitch, how you not like? A bitch is a female dog, so we have I explained. It is a kind, gentle, and friendly, and loyal being. In contrary with the majority of people means when stag cool. their ex a bitch. <laughs> I sometimes uh, play with it, and I say, if she is truly a bitch, your ex, then, man, your girlfriend, your ex-girlfriend was better than you. <laughs> you understand? Let me then go, Be better. And calling somebody in effort, it is overweight. The effort is another name for one cow. Cows indeed are large creatures, but they are not overweight. And they are beautiful in their way. I'm positive that other creatures from their species think that cow is very attractive. That you don't like how the cow looks like, that's your problem. I think the cow also thinks you are not beautiful. If you are um, so called by our society standards, being a beautiful woman. It's all relative, if you get my point with this. And as vegans, we are have to stop with blaming ourselves for what we have done. Blaming ourselves for what we have done in the past, before we are, we are become vegans. That we have eaten animals in the past. Get over it. The animals 
don't have time for our pittiness, our sadness. That, that's, sorry that I've said it, but this don't liberate the animals. I know, I feel myself also a lot of times not fine. But the way I look, look to it is that no matter what I've done in the past, what matters is what I do today. Anybody can make a change any moment of their life to make themselves better. To cause the least amount of harm possible on this planet. Therefore, you don't have to be special. You don't have to be rich. Actually, I... <laughs> I am not rich. I uh, eat uh, for two dollars or two euros, actually, because I live in Europe, uh, a day. Anybody can be vegan. Check out my Instagram for for, for um, ideas if you're not be vegan. And stop abusing animals. Please, go vegan. And we are vegans. That we are vegan is all something that we have done. Now try to inspire your families to become vegan. I see you next time. Friends. Compassion of always to trump violence. Even if it ain't social acceptance. Social acceptance means nothing. And I repeat nothing for moral justice.